Is this 15 pound USB-C hub actually worth it or just another cheap dud? Let's find out. My old Satechi hub gave up on me recently, very sad. So I picked up this for just £14.99. And honestly, for that price, it's been brilliant. I mainly use it with my MacBook for everyday stuff, you know, plugging in USB drives, connecting to my TV with HDMI, and transferring footage from SD cards over to my editing setup. It's just one of those things that sits on the desk doing its job quietly, but if it broke, I'd notice immediately. So let's take a look at what you get on this adapter. What are the ports you get on there? So you get one HDMI port that supports up to 4K at 30 Hertz. You get two USB-C ports, one for power delivery up to 100 watts, and another USB-C port for data transfer at five gigabits per second. You get two USB-A 3.0 ports, also at five gigabits per second, and both a full-size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot for media transfers. Everything I've thrown in it so far has worked. Plug it in and you're off. No drivers, no software, no weird glitches with it. Uh, and build-wise, it feels really, really solid. It's made from aluminium, so it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic dongle. And the braided cable is a nice touch. Much more durable than some of the flimsier hubs that I've tried. That said, I do kind of miss the flexibility of my old hub. The Satechi one that I have here actually had a swappable cable meaning I could use different length cables depending on the setup that I used. This one has a fixed cable, which is great for durability, but you are stuck with whatever length they give you, which is not very much. It's not a massive problem, but just worth knowing. Overall though, for under 15 quid, this thing punches well above its weight. It's reliable, well built, and does exactly what it says on the tin. If you've got a USB-C laptop like what I do, where you don't have any ports on the MacBook, and you need something simple to expand your ports, then I would absolutely recommend this to you. If this video helped you out, then of course make sure to drop a like rating and subscribe for more tech videos just like this one. And let me know down in the comment section down below, will you be picking up this USB-C adapter, or have you got some other options in mind? I'm interested to know down below. And of course check out this video on the screen right here for another amazing video, and we'll see you in the next one.